The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter number 1, verse number 1. It says, Simon Peter, the servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them who have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. Look with me at verse number 8. For if these things be in you and abound, uh, they make you that ye shall either be barren or nor unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and, and cannot see afar off and have forgot that he have uh, purged from, that he was purged from his old sins. Look with me at verse number 12. Wherefore I will not be negligent to put all things in remembrance of these things, though ye know them and be established in the present truth. Yea, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, Amen. knowing that shortly I must put off this tabernacle, uh, even as the Lord Jesus Christ have shown me. Uh, uh, moreover, I will endeavor uh, that ye make me able to, uh, after my decease, that these things may always, things always in remembrance. For we have not uh, followed cunningly uh, devised uh, fables uh, when we have made known unto you the power and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Look with me at verse chapter number 3, verse number 1. It says, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, uh, uh, in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. Uh, uh, for the next little bit, being shown of God led by the sweet Holy Ghost, uh, I want to preach on this topic, uh, memories worth remembering. Amen. Memories worth remembering. You pray when I pray, Father, we sure do love you tonight. And God, tonight we asked you, Lord, God, would you hide us behind the cross and under the blood? And God, would you give us something to break the bread of life? And God, I'm familiar with what time it is. Uh, but God, I believe that time is much closer than most of us realize. And God, I pray tonight, God, would you let your presence be filled? Uh, God, I pray tonight, Lord, you'd move in and out of these pews. And God, you'd touch the hearts, uh, Lord, of the people that's under the sound of my voice tonight. And God, I pray, Lord, that your words will not return void. Uh, I pray tonight, God, you'd feed the sheep of thy pasture. Lord, if it be unwon under the sound of my voice, it's lost and undone. God, I pray you'd reveal yourself to them. Uh, oh, God, you'd send the sweet Holy Ghost to go by them. God, whisper in their heart, head that it might touch their heart. And, and God, send conviction by them. Uh, draw them to yourself, God, that, Lord, they may could leave this place different uh, than it was when they come in. Uh, help us now, lead God in direct us as we go forth uh, for we asked it in Jesus name and all God's people said yeah. amen amen you may be seated tonight uh, by way of introduction to get where I need to be in the scripture uh, may I say uh, when you get to looking uh, at the epistles of Peter uh, hey when you look at the cha uh, P first Peter you'll find uh, hey Peter is writing uh, to encourage the Christian uh, oh can I just stop and say tonight uh, if it's ever been a time uh, on planet earth that we that's been born again uh, and carried the name Christian along with us and and I walk. Uh, hey, if it's ever been a time on planet earth uh, that I need and you need encouragement uh, hey, to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, it is the very day and the very hour in which we're existing in this disposition of grace. Uh, he's writing uh, hey, to encourage those Christians uh, and Jewish Christians uh, uh, that had been driven out of Jerusalem uh, and they were scattered throughout Asia Manor. All oh, he was writing to, hey, to build them up uh, uh, to encourage them uh, all to live by faith uh, and keep trusting God uh, and to know that he is the Lord uh, oh if it's ever been a time that we the New Testament church uh, hey, need to grow in a little bit of grace it's a very time uh, hey, that we're living in 
Oh, can I say tonight, Peter, he knew a little bit uh, about what they were going through. Uh, oh, he had been threatened. Uh, he had been beaten. Uh, he had been jailed. Uh, oh, can I say, the men of God knew what he was writing about. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good tonight if we had some men of God yeah. who really knew what they were talking about? Yeah. What they knew, uh, hey, what they were trying to reveal hey, to God's sheep. Yeah. Oh, we need some encouragement in the day and the hour uh, that we're living in to exist uh, hey, in the times yeah. that we're going through. Uh, hey, it just seems like sometimes we got our back up against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. When you look at Second Peter, uh, you'll find that Peter is, uh, hey, he is uh, writing to the Christians, uh, warning them. He's warning them against false teachers uh, and false preachers. Uh, can I stop and say, we're right in the midst. Already been be uh, revealed behind this pulpit tonight uh, uh, through some of the circumstances that come out. We're living in the time of false doctrine and false preaching. Oh, listen to me, Peter. He's writing, uh, telling him to exalt himself in the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I tell you, hey, we need some exhorting. I don't know about you I need some help from God I need some help I can't make it on my own can I tell you laughter's alright fellowship's alright but you know what I need something from God I just need a touch and a moving and a staring of God I need God to move in my life Peter said something very interesting to the text that we read tonight he used this word remembrance. Four times did he use this verse. In the verse number 12, verse number 13, verse number 15, and, and chapter 3 and verse number 1. He uses this word remembrance. I feel like it's very important in the divine word of God that the man of God would repeat himself over and over and over trying to get the people to understand a word like remembrance. The, listen to me, remembrance. Uh, oh, the word remembrance, uh, it's an action. Are you with me? It is an action. It's a movement, uh, listen to me, that, uh, that we use to bring back something that we remember. In other words, uh, if we're going to find out uh, what we really remember or have some remembrance in our life, it's got to be something to move uh, within us to give us that drive so we have something to remember. Remembrance. Uh, oh, he said it's very important that you, you, you and I remember uh, by way of introduction. Can I tell you? No doubt. No doubt you and I have some memories in our life. Every single one of us, even to these children, have memories in their life that very dear to them. Uh, oh, it's something. Uh, all memories that, look here, that reaches down and, and, and they touch our heart. Uh, all memories, uh, all that we can bring them back into remembrance. Uh, oh, listen to me tonight, church. Uh, all that allows that movement inside of you right. to function. Mm. Mm. See, tonight, we need God to move. We need the Holy Ghost of God to move inside of us. God can do that by remembrance. He can do that by remembrance. All the moving, that taking action within our heart, that something that we remember that has affected our life. Good and bad, you have remembrance. You, you can remember. It's things that's happened in your life that you've never got over. Let me stop and say good and bad. They are there. And it takes a certain kind of movement inside of you to bring that movement that you remember those memories. 
those memories. Take something to move inside of you. Uh, oh, we all have some memories that's worth uh, remembering. Oh, can I tell you, many of us, we can think about, hey, our spouse yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's right. fires me up. <laughs> fires me up. Sure. I got memories about my spouse that fires me up. Yeah, amen. Moves me on the inside. Oh, you can't take, you can't take away, hey, my memories of my spouse. Oh, as we, as we try to get the foundation to move forward on. Oh, listen to me. Hey, some of us, hey, we got memories of our children and our grandchildren. Oh, but when we see them and they say things and they do things. Oh, hey, something moves inside of us and we go back and we can pick up something that happened that meant so much to us that we stored it within ourselves. We stored it within ourselves. It's a memories uh, worth remembering. Oh, can I say, uh, hey, people got careers. Uh, uh, let me tell you something, hey, that they remember the accomplishments in their life and what they went through to get where they're at. Oh, can I say, uh, we all have some memories. Uh, oh, but can I say tonight, hey, there's one, uh, hey, there are some uh, memories that's important in our life. Uh, oh, listen to me, there's some things that's how to fire us up by the way of memories. Uh, oh, can I say, all these things that I mentioned are up my utmost important memories. Amen. But it brought me to this thought. It brought me to this thought. How could a child of God, how could a child of God have memories worth remembering uh, about their spouse and about their children and about their careers and, and have very little memories worth remembering about Christ? Oh, can I tell you, when I get to thinking, uh, oh, when I get to thinking uh, oh, about some of the things that's transpired and some of the things that's took place in my life, uh, oh, can I tell you, I got some memories uh, that's worth remembering. Uh, oh, can I tell you, tonight uh, I can remember when I was redeemed. Uh, oh, I can remember my salvation. Uh, oh, I can remember when I got born again. Uh, oh, listen to me tonight, church. I can remember when I got saved. All my name penciled down in the Lamb's book of life. Hammered down, heaven bound, not backing up, slacking up, or shutting up till I'm taking up. Oh, let's be it. Oh, it's something about fires me up. Oh, can I tell you, it's a memory worth remembering. Oh, honey, the day I got saved by the grace of God. Oh, you say, why is it so important to you? Because I remember what I was. I remember what I was. Uh, oh, can I tell you, uh, honey, you know what? If you want to be revived, uh, oh, if you want to get part up, uh, what you ought to do tonight, uh, right set right where you're at, uh, you ought to stop and think about where you used to be. You're going to sit there and tell me the devil has never brung that up? If that be the truth, you might better check up. You probably lost. He hinders me with it all the time. Now I tell him where you can get off to. I know where he's going to spend eternity. Somebody say amen. I remember when I got saved, got washed in the blood. I remember when the Holy Ghost of God come alive inside me. I remember how you say, preacher, how can that, why is that memory so uh, important to you? Well, I know what I was. Honey, can I tell you, if you ever forget where you come from, you probably don't know where you're going. You probably don't know where you're going. Oh, can I tell you, if your salvation, hey, being redeemed, if it's not worth remembering deep inside of your soul and your mind and your very being, honey, I'd check up. Oh, glory be to God. July 23rd, 1997. Oh, about 16 minutes to 10 o'clock. Oh, got saved by the marvelous grace of God. God 
washed in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, can I tell you, I ain't been right since. I believe everybody got saved all that like me. Woo! I felt something. I just, just felt a little something. It's okay, y'all, y'all calm down. Oh, it's something about remembering uh, oh, my salvation, remembering being hey, born again. Uh, oh, and, and remembering what, what I was, but remembering what I am. Shout of the king. <laughs> Whoa, my father holds a cattle of a thousand hills. Amen. Oh, can I tell you? Hey, he said the righteous shall not beg bread. Uh, he said I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. Oh, listen to me. Uh, I, I realize who I am. Can I report to you? I'm a, I'm a pilgrim in a strange country. Honey, I'm not doing anything but just passing through. And I'm just going to enjoy the ride. Somebody say amen. Oh, when I think about my life and, and where I was and where I'm at, and can I just stop and say, when I look and see, hey, what the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel has done in my life and what he's letting me do. Unto God, it's memories worth remembering. Oh, me a drunk, a dope head, a hauling on my way to hell. Oh, Jesus found me. Somebody say amen. Oh, Jesus found me. Reach down farther than I can reach up. Save my soul from hell. Clean me up, dress me up, and put me where I'm at. Somebody say amen. Oh, it's a memory worth remembering. Can I ask you a question? Yes, come on, pal. Can you? Yes. Talk to me a little bit now. Yes. If you'll talk to me, I'll hurry along. If I gotta do it all, it's gonna take a while. Yes. Can you? Yes. If you can, you ought to tell your face. Yes. Oh, Whoop. Yes. Say amen. Yes. Oh, listen to me. Under God, it fires me up. Why? Because it's a memory worth remembering. Oh, can I tell you? It's the most important memory that you'll ever have in your life because it will let you know where you're going to spend eternity. Oh, listen to me. I can remember. Oh, listen to me. Being redeemed, my salvation. Oh, can I tell you? I can remember God showing up. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, glory be to God. I wish God just dropped down in this place. Yeah. I wish he'd rattle your cage in mine too. Somebody say amen. Honey, I'm looking for it. You know what? I believe it could happen. I believe if you and I, and I got myself with you, I believe if we'd get close to God, I believe we'd pray right, look right, walk right, do right. Somebody say amen. I believe if we would get in one car and really come for the right reason. You think God don't see what's going on in Emmanuel Baptist Church in Florence, Kentucky? Honey, you're blind. I'm so happy to be here. Woo! Glory to God. I, I'm looking for God to show up. Hey, why do you expect that? Because I got a memory of my salvation. Oh, a memory worth remembering. Oh, can I tell you, with God to show up. Oh, can I tell you, He'll show up. He'll show up in our times of trouble. He, when we're going through trials. Oh, when we're experiencing tribulation. When we got our back up against the wall. When this life has got you burdened down. Look out, God will show up. God will show up. He'll show up. It's like He showed up the night He found me. He showed up the night he found you. Yes. Oh, it's a, it's a memory worth remembering. Are you with me? Yes. Oh, when you get to thinking about what that done in your life. Right. Does it affect you? Does it bother you? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think about some of the things that's transpired since I got saved by the marvelous grace of God simply by remembrance. Oh, I can remember. Oh, pastor. Oh, listen to me. When I be down and out. Oh, the back up against the wall. Oh, in a valley. Oh, the very one that saved my soul from hell. Oh, you know what, dude? He'd come by and rekindle with a spark. Whoop, 
Somebody say amen. Oh, can I tell you, you and I, hey, when we have troubles in this life and the fire of God inside of us, which I believe is moving across the United States of America today, hey, when it begins to die down, you're saved. You got the remembrance of when you got saved. You really believe in your heart you're going to God. All oh, but the things that God has done for you and I since we got saved by the grace of God, knowing where you were at, knowing the trials and the troubles and the tribulations you were knowing the valley you were walking through, knowing it was no light at the end of the tunnel, knowing you had your back up against the wall. Oh, the God that saved you. Oh, He sends a rekindling spark. Oh, when you get in that position, uh, oh, you're low and you're down. Uh, you don't think nobody loves you and you don't think nobody cares about you. You think your best friend has left you out in the cold. Uh, oh, can I tell you the power of God? Uh, it ends up being nothing but coals. Uh, and let me help you. If you don't do something about them coals, uh, them coals will get so dim uh, and they'll start begin to turn cold. Uh, oh, and can I tell you what happens to them coals? Uh, oh, this to me. Once they get so cold, uh, oh, they'll begin to smoke. Uh, and when they begin Begin to smoke. Let me tell you what you can't do. Uh, it'll bog your sin. Uh, you won't be able to see right when you. Oh, you won't be able to see right when you get too much smoke in you. Oh, can I tell you? Hey, life won't smell as good as it used to. You'll never smell nothing. Uh, oh, but the smoke of them cold coals in your heart. Oh, but my God. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, my God can send a rekindling spark from heaven. Uh, oh, just one touch of the grim of the garment. Uh, are you with me tonight? Oh, he can take them coals and he can bring them right back into a fire. Oh, he can set a fire underneath you. Hey, he'll get you up. He can bail you out. Oh, oh, by just memories worth remembering. I don't know what everybody else has been through. I don't know what everybody else is up against. Oh, but I can tell you what. I know what Miss Debbie and I have been up against. Just an old drunk. Old dope head got saved by the grace of God. God called me, put me in the ministry. And in the world we're existing in, they try to take it away from us. They shut down all the ministries, all the doors closes. Are you with me? Say amen. Yeah. If a preacher ever looks at you and he tells you his cold's never been cold, I'd, if I was him, I'd check up. Yeah, right. Oh, can I tell you, you know, somebody, it don't take much to beat yourself up. It don't take much to get down. Oh, an old devil whisper in your ear. You ain't no good, no way. What you're doing wasn't right to start with. Uh, oh, I wouldn't worry about serving God. You see what he's done to you. I just throw the towel in. I just give up. Uh, I wouldn't think about it no more. I just go back to doing what I was uh, doing. I just enjoy the rest of your ride. Uh, oh, can I tell you? Oh, listen to me. That's when the memories kick in. Uh, oh, and you can remember that day. Uh, oh, that God in heaven found you and he built you out and that same God can send a spark uh, that will rekindle them coals. Can I tell you, he can take the smoke away. Uh, honey, you won't be blinded no more. You won't have that smell no more. God will clear the way uh, all that you can see clearly now. Somebody say amen. Oh, listen to me. He'll put a little fire. He'll put a little flame back in your coals. Oh, listen to me. Oh, listen to me, church. I don't know about you. When you start to think about the move and the touch of God, you ever had that revive? You ever need, ever need feeling of being revived by God? That, that revive that will stir you a little bit. Peter said twice in this. Uh, he said, uh, he said, listen, he says, by my remembrance. Uh, are you with me? Say, man, I, I'm going somewhere. Are you with me? Oh, listen, he said twice uh, in the scriptures we read in our text tonight. He said remembrance four times. He said, but that remembrance, uh, he said, I want to do something with that uh, remembrance. Uh, he said, I want to stir you up. Uh, he says, I got a 
goal. I've got an ambition. I've got a message from God. I've got a revealing. I've got a revelation for you. He says, I've got something to tell you. He says, I want you to think about what you already got and how you can use that to revive yourself, to stir your own self up. Oh, be revived by a stirring of God. Are you with me? Say amen. Uh, oh, listen, let me tell you something. In a day and hour we live in, uh, hey, we need a waking. Uh, we need a rising. We need an erosion. We need a stirring. Can I tell you? We need a shaking from God. We need God to shake us. We need God to move. We need God to show up and show out. Oh, we need a revival. I believe, I, I honestly believe, Pastor, I believe this all my heart. Didn't I want to stand behind this sacred this? I believe we could have the greatest revival that ever been on planet Earth right now. Yeah. If everybody would begin to believe that, yeah. there would be a God who'd look over heaven. Yeah. He'd say they're real. Yeah. They're looking. Right. They're designed. Yeah. And he said, I ain't going to let them down. He said, I'll stir them up. I'll let them know I'm alive. I'll let them know I'm still sitting on the right hand of the Father. I'll let them know I'm God. Oh, the government won't run everything. Somebody say amen. Oh, let me help you. Let me tell you something tonight. Hey, I believe we can have the greatest revival. I'm like the pastor. I just don't believe there's ever been one. Not in my time. We've been in some good meetings. I'm talking about an old-fashioned, Bible-believing, Holy Ghost-moving, real revival. I believe it could happen. I believe it could happen in our church. Woo! Somebody say amen. I believe that could. I believe it really could happen. Can I go ahead and say this? I'm expecting it to happen. I'm expecting it to happen. Right oh, in the very day, in the hour. Oh, can I tell you, we're dealing with everything. Honey, can I tell you, this thing called virus uh, has destroyed everything. But it ain't destroyed the portals of heaven and my God. Somebody say amen. Uh, oh, listen to me. Uh, all the moving, uh, uh, the remembrance of, of God moving and reviving, uh, reviving us. Uh, oh, can I tell you something? I believe this, Pastor. If I'm wrong, you correct me. I believe there's a reviving reserve for each and every one of us. <laughs> I believe that, Greg. I believe that. God's got it. God's wanting to send it. God's wanting to place it on somebody. He just needs somebody to give it to. Yeah. Oh, listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, it's reserved. It's reserved for you. Can I say it's got your name on it? It's set aside for you. It's set aside. Oh, let me give you an example. Uh, oh, can I tell you, uh, if I call over here where I'm staying uh, and I make reservations uh, and I pay for that thing by credit card, uh, oh, can I tell you, and that place happens uh, to fill up uh, and somebody stops or somebody calls. Uh, oh, can I tell you something? And they need a place to stay. Uh, oh, can I tell you what they can't do, Brother Jordan? They can't get uh, the one that I paid for. Can I tell you, my reviving has already been reserved because my God paid for it on the cross of Calvary. It's mine and no man can take it away from me. It's mine. Can I tell you something? Yours is yours. Can I tell you something about them reservations? Can I tell you that reservation is no good till you show up to get to check in. So you'll revive that's reserved for you is no good for you till you show up to get it. Honey, you got to check in. Whoop! There's a whole lot of people coming, but they're not checking in. A whole lot of people showing up, you're not checking in. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you got any memories that's worth remembering. Uh, oh, can I tell you why you come to the house of God? Uh, oh, listen to me. Hey, there is a reviving already reserved for you. Been paid for by the dear Lamb of God. Oh, you just got to check in to get it. Uh, nobody can get yours but me. Oh, can I say uh, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, listen to me. The Bible says in Psalms 137, He said, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me. 
He says, whatever you're going through, yeah. whatever you've got your back up against the wall, whatever the circumstances of your life, it doesn't change your reservation. Right. It doesn't change uh, that I've got a reviving laid up for you in heaven. Uh, he said, listen to me, it's yours. Uh, oh, you just got to come and check in to get it. Uh, oh, can I tell you, we need some people that have come to the sanctuary of God uh, and check in uh, and be expecting God to do something. Oh, listen to me. What did he say? He said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then when I hear from heaven, I, I will, for, hey, listen to me, I will forgive their sins and heal their lands. Right. He didn't say the world. He said his people. Right. You got to check in. Good. Oh, when you come into the house of God, you ought to remember why you're here. Right. Y'all ought, ought to remember why you're here. Is your mem memories of the house of God the last time as important as this time? Was it worth remembering? I've been fired up. I've been fired up this week. I'm just have been fired up. Man, I've sat at the house and I beg God and I plead God. And, but I got that call from my pastor. I was just about acting like Porky Pig. Somebody say amen. But I tried to act like y'all very civilized. So yeah, Pastor, I'll make a trip up there. I was just jumping for Joey on it. He couldn't see nothing. He he didn't know how I was acting. We're going. Woo! You say, well, well, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm coming home, amen. I'm getting to see my pastor. I'm getting to see you. Uh, and can I tell you, I know where my pastor's at. God's going to be there. Somebody say amen. I know he's close enough to God and he loves God. Uh, oh, listen to me. If God's going to send revival anywhere, it ought to be here. Somebody say amen. Oh, listen to me. He said, my people, which call by my name, me just would if they would just remember me yeah. come on, on y'all talk to me yeah. you know I'm telling you the truth yeah. right. I believe our days sometimes they so congested sure. I believe they so congested Amen. the only time we remember God's when it's time to come to the house of God come on. what's in your head all day long What's in your life all day long? Oh, can I tell you, that God, it saved you. That all oh, that memory worth remembering. You know, oh, can I tell you? He said, I renew your mind. Oh, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? He said, I renew, I renew your mind. Oh, in chapter three, uh, verse number one, uh, he said, I'll stir you up. I renew your mind. The Bible says, and be not conformed to this world, but by the transforming, uh, by the renewing of your mind. Uh, oh, let me give you an example very quickly. And we'll move along. Oh, you mean that old man? You mean that old maniac uh, over there in Dartaria? You remember that brother? Oh, listen to me. I believe he was sitting on top of that mountain uh, when that storm began to come across the Sea of Galilee. I believe he was uh, sitting on that mountain and when that sea, uh, that storm began to arose uh, I believe he looked out and I believe he seen the ship that my Savior was in and he said that ship right on is in trouble. Uh, that ship is not going to make it. Uh, hey, it ain't no way that ship's going to get through. Uh, that storm's going to destroy that ship. Uh, uh, that, I'm talking about that maniac going to cut himself. Uh, hey, look here, that they're chained and they're bound with feathers. Are you with me? Somebody yeah. say man. Oh, can I tell you, uh, he was up on that mountain and he said, that ship ain't going to make it. Oh, when them disciples went back, uh, he said, care it's not that we perish. Uh, oh, Jesus said, oh, ye a little faith. Uh, I believe, uh, hey, biblical, but I believe, and I got a right to believe somebody uh, say amen. Uh, I believe Jesus might have walked to the back of that boat. Uh, I believe he might have just stuck his hand up uh, and he said, be still, peace, be still. Uh, oh, and when the sea and the winds uh, and the storm obeyed his will, oh, that maniac up in that mountain, 
mountain. Hey, he was a watching. He seen that man walk out on the back. Uh, oh, can I tell you what he did? He said, I'm not letting that man get away from me. He said, I'm not letting that man get away from me. I'm keeping my eyes on it. He said, if that boat stops here, I'm going to be waiting on the boat. Uh, oh, can I tell you, you know what he did? Uh, oh, when he come to shore, he was there. You know the next thing you find out about him? Oh, he's done met Jesus. Uh, he's got hooked up with Jesus. Uh, and you know what it happened? Oh, the Bible says that he was dressed yeah. and in his right, right mind. Woo! Somebody say amen. He said, listen to me. He said, listen to me. He says, the renewing of our mind. Oh, listen to me. Can I tell you something else we need very quickly tonight? By way of remembrance, we need a restoring of the praise of God in the house of God. If God don't do anything else for us, He's done enough. God don't do nothing else for us. We're living down here in, a, in, in, in hard times and troubled times and we've got everything to look forward to. Listen to me. He said, let not thy heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe me also. In my Father's house and many mansions were not so. I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive to myself that where I am, there you may be also. Somebody say amen. Honey, can I tell you? Hey, the pasture's greener. Hey, the days are going to get brighter. Uh, the sun, the S-O-N's going to shine again. Uh, oh, we need to get the praise inside of our heart, uh, inside of ourself. Uh, we need to, hey, look here. We need to restore the praise of God in our life. How can you do that? By memory. By memories. Sure. By memories. Lastly, and very quickly, we, we, hey, we need to restore the relief that's required. Sure. We need to restore the relief. Relief that's for the suffering. My, my. Read this to you, Psalms. It says, Cast all thy burdens upon the Lord. And he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. I got some questions and I'm done. I want you to be very, very honest. You're here tonight and you're saved. I want you to raise your hand and I want you to I want you to keep I want you to keep that hand up long enough that I can see it, okay? Okay, I want you to put that hand down. How many of you that raised your hand can sit right where you're sitting? Say, preacher, I got some memories. I got some memories of what God has done for me in my life. That they're worth remembering, preacher. Sure. They Amen. dear to me, preacher. They mean everything to me, preacher. Oh, listen to me. Them memories mean everything to me. I, I wonder if you raise them hands. Sure. Would you put them hands down? How many in here, and lastly, and we'll give an invitation, how many in here tonight say, Preacher, I want my reviving that's reserved for me. I want my reviving that's reserved for me. Sure. Stick up your hand. Sure. Hold your hand up. Hold it up high. Now this is what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to get up and come join your pastor that's around this altar. Because, see, I'm done. The rest of it's left up to you. It's up to you what you do with the balance of this message tonight. Oh, listen, just come. Just come on, come on. Come on, let's get around this altar. Let's beg God. Let's thank God for the memories. Oh, but let's beg God to send revival. Oh, let's beg, beg God to move. Oh, let's beg God to show up. Oh, I don't know about you. We need God. We need God. We need God. Oh, listen. We need God. Oh, let's pray, seek His face. Let's get real with Him tonight. Oh, number one, let's, hey, let's, let, let's thank Him for the memories that we got. But let's ask Him to send that reviving. Can I tell you, I believe God could use one. I really believe God could use one person that would truly get revived to start revival. If one person would really be real, I believe it could begin right here tonight in this place. I believe it could begin right here, right now. 
Did you know that IBC is now on iTunes, TuneIn, SoundCloud, and Google Play? Head on over to your podcast provider and subscribe today. And as always, thanks for listening.